It's me, your guy. <laughs> One word, word again. I cannot wait to do all of these videos. It's amazing. I'm already distracted from rec I think I go every single recording. Oh god, I'm gonna fart. Okay, I go every single recording. Like, I go into every single recording with some sort of idea that I'm just going to talk and that doesn't even end up working all the time. Today, what happened today? There's a few things that happened today. I got breakfast early. I didn't actually finish the whole thing. There was too much. And to place my order, I just had uh, my, I, my iPad just pick a number between 1 and 10 through the things I would want to order. So let's say there's jalapeno, there's spinach, there's tomato, there's whatever else. And then I have them pick a number between 1 and in 10 and then I'll get whatever that is just because everything on there is decent and you know I think trying different flavor combinations are only going to happen if I do something like that at this point because I've had it so much I might get an omelet tomorrow to kind of because I it's smaller than a skillet which is what I got and I don't <laughs> I could put I think it would taste better if I put different stuff in there rather than opposed to just like on potatoes that are super greasy, but they taste good though. So anyways, after that, I had a computer. No, I didn't have my computer science class. That's on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I had my physics class. True story. There was a person in that class who was in the wrong class and the teacher selected that person to go up and do an example on the board. So they had no idea what they were doing. And I thought that was really sad, but now it's also kind of funny. I would feel so embarrassed, but I would totally be like, oh yeah, I'm not in the right class. And I feel like she's probably someone who was sick last week when the classes started. So, yeah, I felt bad for her. <laughs> Anyways, other than that, I, well, actually I also... What else did I do? I had my engineering 100 class. The people behind me kept complaining. I was like, shut up. But I also agree with you. It's just like, when you complain, you seem weak. You know, I complain about my math teacher a lot. And I'm, while it is about, like, my complaints are valid about him, I know that not everybody wants to hear it all the time. So I only complain a little bit now as opposed to how I used to complain basically all the time. Oh, I also, I also worked out today. You can tell. I, I did a incline bench press for the first time. So it goes like, I believe you go like this, right? I think you go like this, not like this. I watched this guy named Scott Herman Fitness. He is so funny. He's like, I'm only... Since I said I'm watching less YouTube, that was the only YouTube I watched today, so I wonder if YouTube's gonna think that I just like men and I'm gay, because all I did was watch a dude named Scott Herman Fitness, Fitness Wiener in his mouth. Other than that, though, and the weightlifting, gosh, I get so distracted by all the people there, like, especially the girls, because obviously, when women are going to the gym, it's like, it, they're usually going to have pretty decent bodies but it's so like distracting because part of me is working out so I can look more attractive but the other part of me is working out so that way I have less of a risk for dementia and the part of me that's trying to look more attractive sometimes looks at the girls as well and it's left brain right brain you know what I mean so let's do the calendar the calendar today is oh wait hold on aha so we got Lou Groza, Carl Eller, Steve Prefontaine, Mark Duper, and Chris Chelios. And wow, that's kind of insane that uh, Chris Chelios, or Chelios, was born 1962. And almost every, every other date, we've had someone that was born in at least the 1980s or 1970s. This is the only time that we've... And heck, it's 1962, so it's barely even the 1960s. All right, so it says who won, who, what, when, where. So if you have any idea, I will be shocked. 
It says the first Winter Olympics opens in Cham Chamonix, France. A total of 258 participating athletes, 247 men and 11 women, hail from Austria, Belgium, Canada, Czechoslovakia, Estonia, Finland, France, Great Britain, Hungary, Italy, Latvia, Norway, Poland, Sweden, Switzerland, and the United States. With World War I, a little more than five years concluded, Germany remains banned from the games. Finland will lead the world in gold medals with four. Charles Jutra will be the only American to take home gold after winning the 500-meter speed skate. Good for you, Charles Jutra. And I believe that is going to do it for today. Outro.